But now I'm going to give you a shortcut, which is even faster than this. Let's go to level two shortcut, the fastest method to solve such kind of problem. Pause the video right now, visualize this, see if you can get the answer. Hi everyone, my name is Atinda Pal Singh and welcome to ATP STEM. Today we are going to look at a very popular question from your school exams, JE main and NEET examination. This question has an elaborate solution which we will go through and then I'll tell you a shortcut in which you will be able to solve this question within three steps. And then afterwards, I'll tell you how to visualize the entire situation in your head and solve this question without touching pen and paper. Okay, let's do this. So here, there is a 60 kg person standing on a rough plank. The plank's length is three meter, mass of the plank is 30 kg, but the plank is placed on a frictionless smooth surface. The question is, if the person walks to the other end of the plank, find the distance moved by the person as seen from the ground. Why is this even a question? If the person has to walk to the other side, right? Shouldn't the person simply move three meters? No, this is because when the person will try to move, the friction on the person will be forward, whereas the same friction will be backward on the plank. This is because of action and reaction. There is no other horizontal force on the system apart from this action-reaction pair. So net horizontal force in this scenario is completely zero. If net horizontal force on the entire system is zero, then center of mass of the system should remain at rest. Center of mass cannot move. If center of mass can't move, as the person will try to go this way, the plank will automatically move the other way in order for center of mass to remain at the same location. So how do we solve this problem? We need to find out where is the center of mass of the system before he starts moving and where should be the center of mass after he starts to move, equate the two to get to the answer. To find center of mass, equation is going to be 60 into 0. Why 0? We are assuming that origin is here. So 60 multiplied by 0 plus 30 into 1.5. Why 1.5? The plank's 3 meter long, but the center of mass of the plank itself is going to be in the middle. That's why 1.5 divided by total mass 90, this will give you 0 0.5 meters as the answer. Okay? When the person's going to walk, when the person moves by L1 distance to the right and the left end of the plank moves L2 distance to the left, in order for the person to reach the other end, L1 plus L2 has to be 3. Okay? Now, while using the new formula or the new location of center of mass, we're going to use 60 into L1 because the distance of the person is now L1 distance to the right. Where is the center of mass of the plank though? That is here. How much is this distance from the origin? It is this distance L2 minus half length L2 minus 1.5. And since, since it is on the left hand side, it's going to be a negative sign. Minus 30 L2 minus 1.5 divided by 90. Okay. If we assume that this new center of mass has the same location as the old center of mass, we equate the two and use this equation, solve both of them simultaneously, we will come up with an answer. L1 equals 1 meter. 1 meter would be the final answer. That means the person actually moved 1 meter to the right and the plank itself moved 2 meters to the left. Now this entire question can be solved very quickly. There is a shortcut here. What is the shortcut? Let's look at that. To understand the shortcut, you need to understand one key point. Generally, you can choose origin wherever you want. But over here, we're going to choose the origin exactly at center of mass. If we assume that the origin is at center of mass, then the product of M1, L1 and M2, L2, if there are two bodies involved, product of mass and distance on one side is going to be equal to mass and distance on the other side. Okay? Proof of this shortcut, I will be uploading in the description. Have a look at it if you are interested. If not, you can use it anyways. So this is going to be true. And we also know that L1 is the distance moved by the person, L2 is the distance moved by the plank, and their total has to be 3. So here, M1 is 60 and M2 is 30, right? Which gives us that L2 is going to be twice of L1. And their total 
is going to be equal to 3. So L1 must be 1 and L2 must be 2. Okay, that is how we get L1 and L2 both very quickly without going through that lengthy calculation. But now I'm going to give you a shortcut which is even faster than this. Now let us discuss shortcut level 2 which is the fastest method to solve such kind of problem. So here you can see that center of mass is 0.5 meter assuming this point to be the origin. Okay. Now if center of mass is half a meter to the right, imagine that there is a vertical axis passing through it and now visualize everything rotating 180 degree about that vertical axis. If that happens, the person will end up on this side and the plank's other end is going to end up over here. This is exactly what we wanted, right? And in this rotation, you can see from the diagram that the distance moved by the person is 1 meter. And how much will be the distance moved by the plank? 2 meters. That's it. Now let's see if you have understood this shortcut. Now in this problem, we have a person of mass 120 kg standing on a plank of length 8 meters. Plank mass is 40 kg. It's the same situation again. The person has to go to the other side. We want to know how much should be the distance moved. Okay. Pause the video right now. Visualize this. See if you can get the answer. Let's see. So to calculate center of mass, what do we need to do? We need to multiply 40 with 4. Why 4? Because half of the length divided by total mass 160, that gives us 1 meters. Center of mass is 1 meters away from here. Now what happens when you visualize the 180 degree rotation? You know the person's going to go to the other side 1 meters, distance moved is 2 meters. How much is the distance moved by plank? 6 meters because total has to be 8. Question solved. That's it from my side. I'm going to give you some practice questions on this. Download those practice questions from the description box. Comment if you like this video and let me know if you are interested in learning more stuff like this. Thank you very much.